Hey everyone, it's Erica from Nitty Gritty Science and today's activity from home is working with light. Check it out, we are gonna make something awesome today. Are you ready? Holograms, isn't that awesome? Okay, so they're not true holograms. It's gonna be a hologram illusion because we are gonna use a tablet or a phone where we can use on I, the um, YouTube videos. But you can kind of see I have four images around this device that I'm gonna make and we're gonna use that to get the reflections of these four images so we can go ahead and make a hologram. Let's get started. Okay, what you are going to need around the house, I'm gonna set up my phone here for you, okay, is a pair of scissors, potentially a marker, some tape, and a cutting mat. You are also going to need a template, and I'll go ahead and put this in the comments. Now, I have two different sizes here. There's gonna be one that makes something this size. This is gonna be great if your device is a phone, or the bottom one is going to make one this size, and this is great if you have something like the size of a tablet or an iPad. So depending on what your device is, is the template that you want to use. Now this is where we need to get a little bit creative because we need some plastic to make our device that's gonna help us see our hologram illusion. So you might have to get creative, ask your parents for a little bit of help, and let's see what we can find around the house. So where I looked, where I could find some, is some packaging around the house. A lot of packaging like this box sometimes has a plastic window or something on the front. Carefully cut that plastic window out and you can use that plastic. Somewhere else where I found um, plastic sheet that I could use is on the back of my planner right here. So maybe there's an old planner or an old notebook sitting around that you can maybe ask your parents if you can take that back cover off. There might be some old um, documents around the house that might have a cover protector on it. This is a great piece of plastic if you can ask your parents if they're not using that anymore, if you can take that cover protector off. If you have a laminator at home, um, you can go ahead and heat up a laminating sheet and that would make a nice hard piece of plastic for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I got a piece of a cover protector and that is what I am going to be using today. All right, so what you want to do is if you need, go ahead and set your piece of plastic over the template. If you need, if you cannot hold the two pieces of paper steady while you're cutting, then I suggest tracing the lines on the outside first, okay? Try not to draw the red lines in between because the less ref markers or the lines that we have in here, the better our reflection is going to be. So go ahead if you need to use a marker and just do the outline of it. If you don't need the marker and you can hold the paper together just like this while you're cutting, then go ahead and do that. So I'm going to cut out my template by holding the paper carefully together. Now you want to make sure that you cut on the lines as straight as possible, hitting those corners, because we want to make sure that all the sides are even so we get a good hologram illusion. And it's very important that you cut the middle of the template out because we are going to make sure that that part right here in the center is gonna fold so we have a nice flat square in the middle. See that little square in the middle? We need that guy to be nice and flat so he sits right on top of our digital device. Now, this is the part you need to be careful with and if you need to, ask your parents for help. Where the red lines are, that's where we need to fold this. So to make it easier folding, take your scissors and use a sharp end. We wanna make sure we do not cut through the plastic, but we just want to score. So we're gonna press lightly on the plastic down the red lines, just like this. You can hear I'm scoring right through that plastic, but I'm not cutting through the plastic because we don't want to cut the edge off. So by doing that, and I just press ever so lightly, when I take it off, you can see I've scored the lines where the red lines were. Now this is perfect for folding on those lines just like this, so I can go ahead and put my hologram device together. You are going to go ahead and then now tape this last side together. It is more important that you do not line up this so much as if you line up this edge right here at the bottom of your square because we want to make, again, 
this part that's going to be sitting on the digital device flat. So once you have those corners lined up and you have it where you want it, go ahead and take a small piece of tape just like this. Tape it right, just one piece of tape is all you need. Tape it right over the edge and voila, we have our device. Okay, so then we're going to take that device we're going to find, just type in, say on YouTube, um, 3D hologram video, and there's so many to choose from. Um, and they have some really, really cool ones. Now, you can go ahead and set it on your device, just like this, right in the center. Now, of course, I have static cling right now, so my finger, where I was cutting, is now making this, this guy stick to me. All right, and then we're gonna hit play. And there we have it, okay? Now you can see the hologram is right in the middle. You can see it a little bit better. I'm trying to get you a good video of it. It's kind of tipping up. It's kind of funky at this angle. Let's see if I get my bigger one here for you to see. There we go. See that shark in there? How cool is that? Have fun getting to the nitty-gritty science of light. Hey, leave your comments below. Let me know how you like that video. And we'll be back with more. Take care. Bye-bye.